All right, you guys, so I have got the latest BeautyCon box. Uh, if you've been watching my other BeautyCon box, I love this box. I just think they're so fun. I'm not sponsored with them. I just, I buy it because I like it. It's super fun. I love that they're curated by people. This one is Candy Johnson's box. And there was a mail sticker right here, so it kind of ruined it a little bit. But <laughs> you guys get the idea. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm excited. These boxes have been so much fun. This box is heavy too, like, I mean, like really heavy. Oh, hey beauty. I say that every time. <laughs> and a hand-drawn portrait of Candy Johnson. That's really fun. Oh, let's not look at what's inside. And look at that fun tissue paper. It's got like a plastic covering on it so you don't ruin the tissue paper. Oh, that's smart. What? Y'all, I seriously think this tissue paper is part of the box because it is wrapped so you can use it. Are you serious? All right, Candy Johnson, what did you pick for your box? Let's see. We have got the Cover FX contour brush, the NYX jumbo eye pencil in cashmere. I like that. Two Faces Better Than Sex Mask Waterproof. Oh, mascara, it's waterproof. No one ever sends waterproof. I'm so happy. Waterproof is like pretty much all I wear because I managed to smear even waterproof mascara. Oh my gosh, I, like seriously, like you never get waterproof mascara. That's never in any of these beauty boxes. I'm super excited. I don't know about these claims, but <laughs> actually I have tried the Better Than Sex mascara, not the waterproof. I didn't even realize there was a waterproof and it is really amazing, so pretty excited about that. I don't even know where to go next. There's a ton in here. Okay, we have got the NYX Ombre Lip Duo in Peaches and Cream. Wow, that's fun. We've got the Smashbox Brow Tech Shaping Powder in Taupe. It says that the microfine loose powder shapes and adds volumes to create natural or bold brow. All right, we've got some Benzac Blemish Clearing Hydrator with Calming Soothing East Indian Sandalwood Oil. Cool. It says it's a lightweight formula which controls excess oil and hydrates the skin. And it just says you use it by covering the entire affected area with a thin layer once or twice daily. So that's pretty awesome if there's some sort of crazy breakout. I, I don't get a lot, but every once in a while, every once in a while you get something that pops up. So this is cool. Actually, I'm glad to have this. All right, we have two of these LA Fresh packets. This one is an oil-free face cleanser. It gently cleanses, detoxifies, and removes light makeup. <laughs> it removes light makeup. So if your makeup's heavy, this isn't gonna do the trick, but if it's light, there you go. And then this one is an instant cooling body soother. All right, we have the Bursa Spa Face Moisturizer. It's a gradual tanner. Ah, oh, I don't trust myself with these necessarily, but this one looks pretty easy to use. <laughs> Ooh. Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. What? That's really cool. Like effort. Oh my gosh, I've seen this. Effortlessly, blah blah blah. You're just supposed. It's supposed to just like wipe makeup off, and it won't clog pores and blah blah blah. It claims to even wipe off waterproof mascara. So pretty, pretty excited. It says it acts like a magnet. What? All right. Well, this is this is has some some big promises here. I'm pretty excited to try that. This uh, was a lot of what was weighing down the box. Wow. Like, talk about full-size product here. This is Redken, uh, let's see, it's Fashion Ways. A sea salt spray, what? This is awesome! Super fun. Then we got this here, it's a brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer. It's only a broad spectrum SPF 15. Uh, my dermatologist recommends a 30 or higher, but still, for days that I'm not really going out anywhere, and maybe just kind of whatever, this would be awesome. And, let's see if I like it, oil-free, blah, blah, blah. I use an Aveeno brightening moisturizer that I love, and so I'm actually kind of excited to try theirs. You never know, maybe I'd like it better. All right, and last but not least, is this 15% off of the edit, which I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's some sort of shop. So pretty cool. And then again, like I said, this tissue paper, which is part of the box, part of what you get. Ugh, that is like the most clever, fun thing ever. So here it is, you guys. This is the BeautyCon box. So I think that I've had three so far. My favorite has been the first one by Bethany. What is her last name? Moto? I don't remember. That one was my favorite box. The Graveyard Girl, the Bunny Meyer, or whatever her last name is, Bunny Box, the box by Bunny, the Graveyard Girl box, 
It was the most creative. And this box though, I have to say, I think I will use the most stuff from. Like this one just seems to kind of be almost spot on for me. So that's pretty awesome. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I'm always excited. This is a seasonal box. Again, I'm not sponsored. I just buy it. I like it. So this is a seasonal box. So I get excited. I kind of forget about it. And then I'm like, oh yeah, isn't it time for the box? And then it will be. And all is good. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Candy Johnson BeautyCon box, which was amazing. And I will talk to all you guys next time. Bye.